Hello everyone. Um, so a lot of people requested how to make the Polaroids. And so in this video, I'm going to be showing how I format them and then print them off. So I will show you two ways to do it. I'll show you a way on Procreate and um, the way you can do it on Procreate, you can do it on Photoshop just as easily. So for those people who have Procreate in Photoshop, it's easier to do it this way. But if you don't, then I can show you a way on how to do it on Pixar, which is free. Um, so basically, I, I can put up a... In the link below, there'll be a link to a Google Drive and there'll be a PNG version of one of these Polaroid templates. But you can always search Polaroid template PNG up and then get someone in different sizes or whatnot. Uh, the, this size fits three, four photos, which is the generic size. So you just layer them however you want. And I have already done this and included and added some photos in. It's actually really easy. So you just... Uh, I have this photo of, of Dewey. And so I will just fit it into it. Um, if, if I want her in the middle, I'm just gonna raise it like this. You can just, you can just crop it all. Anything, anyway, this part's really kind of self-explanatory. So, and for the color, for it to be really nice, you have to sort of choose a color that's within the photo instead of going for a completely random color. So you can do that or maybe like the black. Dark color Polaroids look nice as well as pastel. Okay, so I'm gonna just do one more. Example. Mm -hmm. Sort of muted tones look nicest on Polaroids, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this up and then show you how you could alternatively do it on Pixar. So that is done, and I will head over to Pixar. So I haven't used Pixar in a really long time, so I don't really know all the tips and tricks, but um, I will show you what you could do. So here in the color, you just scroll down to the color backgrounds, and you want to crop it so it's a4. I think it was 2449. And that is A4 size. So you just want to go ahead and add that Polaroid. And then if you want to replicate it the same way, just sort of enlarge it so it's the middle there. And go ahead and duplicate it. And we're just gonna hit apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this first because then you can use it. Back to the color backgrounds and pick the color you want your Polaroid to be. And then and then you save that as well. And then you go back to what you made. You add 
you add the photo and all you need to do is click blend and lighten or screen and that will go only on the black lines and apply and all your polaroids will be pink now you just want to add the same photos in and because these are shaped to be almost exactly 3, 4 you don't even need to move it behind and just fit it in so you can do that for all the other photos and then you save that and then print it out There's also a lot of questions on how to print. I printed mine on 300 GSM paper, which is probably the perfect thickness. You can print it thinner, um, yeah, but I recommend sort of more than normal copy paper. And I personally am one of those people who have a really really bad printer that can barely print black and white so I go and print this off wherever there's my wherever there's your local commercial printer and honestly commercial printers if you can just buy the paper itself you can just use your um school like not right now but school work sort of any sort of commercial printers because they are, they have the best print quality I'm pretty sure you can go into stores as well sort of the ones with those print services or anything like that or if there's any online services near you that print on 300 GSM cardstock and then get it delivered but anyway that is basically what I do because you can't tr trust home printers and I have a really bad one but I still want to show you how to decorate them using my new stickers so I will choose a Polaroid from here also I keep it in this little card file which is super super cute I just decorated it with some stickers and I just keep the ones that I haven't decorated yet and then this this is actually a photo card binder and it's an x1 photo card binder just super yeah anyway but it's perfect storing these usually I start with the letters so I'm just going to start show you the upgraded version of the basically the deco stickers not the mini decos I don't know if it will come out exactly as these designs um, these are just samples that are printed out just to make sure just because I wanted to test them Hopefully I will release these next month or something similar. These are the style, this is the style I'm really excited about.
It's nice if you leave off some on the edge. Even got some super, super tiny ones. Can you even? Okay. I'm not sure if I like the pastel ones or the fluoro sort of ones more. These designs, you saw it here first. Um, also, if you use the Polaroid templates or like this video, please tag me and use the hashtag Polco because I don't know why, but I'm super excited if to see if people actually use the hashtag for this. Because this trend, sort of like Polaroid deco, is really trended in Korea and it's still trending. So I just wanted an English hashtag for it because I can't keep calling it Polaroid Decos because it's just just too sh too long. Look how small these stickers are. I guess that's cute. I'm gonna keep adding some more pastel things. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the mini deco set when the new items come out. Because the mini decos have been really, really popular. But, um, again, they're, they're mini, so there's not that much variety as these ones. And I prefer these sort of ribbons. And then there's like a lot of stars on these ones and different size hearts. Anyway, I think that's... I think that's done. But wait, a finishing touch off. Um, finishing... No, I'm still gonna... I keep changing my mind as I speak. Use this white pen. Just highlighting. And then just add some hearts. Dry that and then finishing touches. Cut off that one and done. That. I'm going to my latest 
cage. These are the ones I made recently. These ones were just using the the possibly up and coming pastel stickers. This one used a lot. I used to have that mindset of like, oh my god, I don't want to use all my stickers, but then now I just use stickers like it is my last day because there is no point in leaving stickers until they all dry up and you don't want to use them anymore. So just use them, it will make you happy. And that is it for the video. No, it's not it for the video. I will be back when I print off the ones that I showed you.